guys, it's Brian, and I'm going to show you how to suck a little less in Bloodborne. Now, it is still a hard game, but there is a way you can farm Blood Echoes. Blood Echoes are currency that you can use to advance your character by character attributes and purchase uh, better gear and equipment. So what I'm going to do is go to Central Yangman here, and this is going to be the first opportunity to do farming runs. Now, throughout the game, there's going to be many locations, but early on, this is really the the best place you can do it. Now this is going to be after you do the werewolf section and you go up and you have to unlock that gate. So after you kill the two werewolves, now getting to that point is going to be an issue. You want to go in the house just to the left after the werewolves and then go up and make your way and unlock that gate. Then go out to the hunter's dream and then zone back in and then just follow this path. And I'm going to head right back to where those werewolves were located. I'm going to kill those werewolves and then I'm going to go back out to the Hunter's Dream, and then I'm going to come back in again. I'm just going to rinse and repeat that until I build up a healthy supply of Blood Echoes, then I can go and level up my character. Now the werewolves are going to be out here. Now the first time you're here, you're going to have to attack them uh, regularly. You're not going to be able to use this method. But what you want to do is lure them back here into the house. And then from here, you just want to do the, the Whirlwind attack where you press and hold R2. And then you can take them out this way. They can't get inside of here. And you're going to get almost uh, around about a thousand blood echo for each one of these runs. So as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to go run back out. And if you go up and to the left, that's where the cleric beast is located, the first boss. And once you've gone there for the first time, you can get a, uh, a woman is going to be right outside of the hunter's dream where you can uh, upgrade your character and increase the vitality and things like that. And in order to do that, you're going to have to exchange blood echoes. So you probably want to do this, oh god, for as long as you can handle it so you can level up your character. So it'll make things a little easier. Things are a challenge when you have lower health. So increase your health and endurance and all the other stats that you want to upgrade. But definitely uh, upgrade vitality first. So you could just keep farming this over and over. Each of these guys will drop three blood vials, which are the health potions. Now at that point, I'm going to go run back out to the Hunter's Dream. And then you would go and zone back in. So go back to the Lantern here, Return of the Hunter's Dream. And then once you're in here, you can go to the, uh, again, you have to have gone to the Cleric Beast once. But once you've done this, you can go and talk to this woman here and exchange those Blood Echoes that you've uh, acquired and uh, increase your stats. So this is going to level up your character. I think I was level 15 before I even took down the Cleric Beast. And I'll probably come back here and level up some more and grind it out. It's going to suck, but it is going to make the initial early part of this game easier. So here you can exchange and increase your vitality, endurance, strength, skill, everything here. So I'm just going to do this a few times. I'm going to get my vitality up uh, to around 14 and then uh, after that, just to the left there, you can go and buy equipment. I would highly recommend you buy the entire uh, set of armor that is here and make sure you equip this because this is going to be much better than the starting gear that you have. So after that, I'm going to go back in the central yarn room here and uh, rinse and repeat and get some more blood echo and try to level up my character. So I hope that helps you guys out. And if it did, please like, comment, and subscribe.